So, this is Overview Farms. I'm in Nova Scotia. The town of Antigonish is just over that ridge there. And I'm on a dairy farm, which is absolutely nothing like the beef farm I left behind in Alberta. First of all, cows, not cattle. The point of all this is to produce milk. And well, you can't milk a bull. Or you can, but you're not going to get milk. So most of the cows here are, well, cows. They're not bulls, they're not heifers, they're not steers. They are cows, which means they are female and they've given birth. Second, the cows that they raise for milk are almost a different animal from the cattle that they raise for beef. These are Holsteins. They're what you think of in the city when you think of a cow. They're black and white, um, but turns out they're quite different from the beef cattle. They're larger for starters, and they're built differently. You can see a lot more spine, um, and their udders are huge, of course, because, well, they're bred for their milk. They're also a lot more docile, and they spend most of their time in the barn here. They don't go out in the fields nearly as much because they have to come back to the barn to be milked twice a day. Um, so these fields, they're not pasture. Mostly they're used for growing grain and grass and hay and feed for the animals which are fed in the barn. So this seems obvious when you think about it, but I don't know how many people actually think of it when you buy milk at the store, which is cows only give milk when they have a calf to feed. And so a huge amount of the work at the farm is getting cows pregnant and helping cows give birth and then figuring out what to do with the calves when we steal all the milk. But you don't think about that in the store. But that's most of what happens at a dairy farm. It's not just, oh, well, you milk her twice a day and she just magically produces milk. Speaking of milking, I got to milk cows the second day I was here. And I guess it's a pretty simple process. Um, the cows come into the milking parlor and you have to clean off the udders because um, they're covered in manure and you don't want that in the milk. And then you have this vacuum pump that kind of just sucks itself onto the, the four teats. And the cow sits there and gives her milk for five or ten minutes, and the pump comes off. You coat the teats with, uh, I guess, a substance that uh, keeps them healthy. The cows go out, and you do the next batch. And I don't know. It's kind of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and there's lots more to learn. I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed with everything I've learned in the last couple of days, and I'll be sharing some of the lessons that I learned here uh, on my YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to here. Um, or if you're interested in the documentary, you can uh, go to the hands that feed us.ca and sign up for the mailing list, or you can keep following me on uh, Facebook and Instagram. But uh, I'll be back next week with uh, more tales from the cow barn.